Bajaj Auto, one of India's leading two-wheeler manufacturers, witnessed a significant 10% decline in its share price today, marking its steepest fall since March 2020. Now, this sudden drop has sparked concerns amongst investors and industry analysts. Now, let's take a closer look at what's behind this dramatic development. The Bajaj Group is a well-established conglomerate in India known for its presence across multiple industries. Now, with over 10 listed companies on the stock exchanges, including key players like Bajaj Finance, Bajaj Finserv, Bajaj Auto, Bajaj Electricals, etc. Now, these companies contribute substantially to the group's overall financial strength. However, following the Q2 earnings report, Bajaj Auto has experienced a notable sell-off which may have impacted the overall investor confidence. Let's first take a look at Bajaj Auto's market position. Bajaj Auto is renowned for its two-wheeler and three-wheeler vehicles with exports to over 70 countries. Its products portfolio includes popular models such as Pulsar, Dominar, Discover and Platina in the two-wheeler segment, Bajaj Maxima in the three-wheeler segment and the Chetak electric scooters in the EV segment as well. Founded in 1945 and headquartered in Pune, Bajaj Auto has a strong legacy. Over the years, it has entered strategic partnerships with multiple global manufacturers. In 2007, Bajaj Auto acquired a 49.9% stake in KTM and launched the KTM brand in India. Subsequently, it also brought the Husqvarna brand under the KTM umbrella. Later on, Bajaj Auto partnered with Triumph to manage Indian distributor for the British motorcycle manufacturer. Talking about market share, Bajaj Auto commands 11.76% market share in the two-wheeler segment and is a market leader with a dominant 35% market share in the three-wheeler segment. Let's dive into the key factors that contributed to the Bajaj Auto's 10% decline in the price. First is the Q2 results. Bajaj Auto's second quarter performance was decent on paper but slightly below the market expectations which contributed to the stock's decline. Here's a closer look at the numbers. The revenue from operations stood at 13,127 crore rupees, marking a 21% year-on-year growth and a 10% increase from the previous quarter. The net profit stood at 2,005 crore rupees with a 9.2% year-on-year increase despite a one-time tax impact of 211 crores due to the changes in the LTCG regime. Now, the total tax expenses stood at 920 crores, leaving a bottom line profit of 2,005 crore rupees. Apart from this, the operating margins remained stable at around the 20% mark, which has been consistent over the past five quarters. While these numbers seem solid, they fell slightly below the market expectations. Investors were particularly concerned about the company's muted commentary on the festive demand, which is a key season for automakers. Second is the outlook for the two-wheeler industry. Now, Bajaj Auto's cautious outlook for the two-wheeler industry further dampened the investor sentiment. Following the second quarter results, the company's executive director warned that while the festive season would boost sales and demand, the actual growth in reality may only be in the 1-2% to range as against the industry expectations of about a 5-6% growth. Now, this news was a major disappointment for investors who were hoping for a more robust sales forecast ahead of the crucial festive season. Now, the cautious outlook spread across the industry negatively impacting other players like that of Hero Fincorp and TVS Motors as well, whose share prices declined by almost 3% each. Now, even the four-wheeler segment wasn't immune to this news. Automakers such as Maruti Suzuki, Mahindra and Mahindra Tata Motors also saw the stock prices declining due to concerns about a potential slowdown in the consumer demand, especially during the festive season. Now, the third is mixed signals that were received from the brokerages. Now, brokerage houses offered mixed views following Bajaj Auto's second quarter results, which further fueled the uncertainty. Citibank issued a sell call with a target price of 7,800 rupees, implying a 33% downside from the current price. MK Global also downgraded the stock to a sell with a target of around 9,500 rupees. McQuery maintained a neutral stance with a target price of around 11,073 11, rupees. However, some brokerages were more optimistic. For example, Jefferies retained a buy rating, increasing the target price to 13,000 rupees a piece. Novama also maintained the buy recommendation with a similar target of 13,000 rupees a piece. Now, it's worth noting that a month ago, CLSA, which is another brokerage, had predicted a 40% downside for Bajaj Auto, signaling a long-term concerns even before these results were announced. Now, to conclude, Bajaj Auto's sharp 
stock decline reflects concerns over sluggish consumer demand during the upcoming festive season exacerbated by inflation and lower purchasing power although the company posted decent q2 results its high valuations and cautious sales outlook have left investors worried Now, as the first major two-wheeler company to announce the second quarter results, Bajaj Auto's conservative stance could foreshadow broader challenges for the Indian auto industry in the months ahead. Having said that, this is Raj Mehta signing off, wishing you and your loved ones the very best. Thank you. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.